Welcome to Muslim Apologetics Australia. In this video, we're going to expose the hypocrisy and double standards by Islamophobes who live in Australia and how they use one standard for Middle Eastern criminals and another standard for those who look Caucasian or white. Now, there's been a drug haul, um, a big, big drug catch that has been raided by Australia police. Methamphetamines were coming into Australia and it was captured. <clears throat> and let's watch the video. And after the video, uh, you'll see the comment section, how the double standards are apparent when the perpetrators happen to be white people. So let's play the video. A surprise raid at sea has netted Australian authorities a haul of methamphetamine worth close to $750 million. Police allege organised crime gangs are now working even harder during the global shutdown. Brick after brick, more than a thousand in total, piled up on the wharf at Balmain as a 50-foot yacht gives up its secrets. Operation Romani, involving New South Wales Police, Border Force and the AFP, moved in on the yacht yesterday, just off the coast near Lake Macquarie. They crept up behind, surprising the two-man crew. The border team got onto the ship before anyone was aware that it occurred. Towing it in to Sydney Harbour. A tip-off from New Caledonia Police led Australian authorities to the Lafayette and some telltale signs on its hull. Which indicated that uh, the vessel may have had a uh, rubbed alongside another vessel um, at the high seas. Police here allege the Lafayette was the transfer vessel, picking up the drugs from another boat off the coast of Norfolk Island before making its way to the Australian mainland. While the first vessel went on to New Caledonia, the crew declared to authorities there they'd come from Mexico. Cuffed and put in protective suits and masks, two men on board are taken into custody. The men, one from New Zealand, the other a dual UK South Africa African citizen and now facing charges of drug importation. Police taking all coronavirus precautions as they tally up the haul. It's alleged around one tonne of methamphetamine. And it was almost six to eight hours of decontamination. Okay, so there you have it. Now, what really surprised me, I mean, it didn't, didn't really surprise me because I'm actually used to seeing so much double standards. And so... The perpetrator here is from New Zealand. He's a white guy. He's not a Middle Eastern or Asian. And the other guy is a dual citizen uh, he, uh, from South Africa, and he's from the UK. Uh, so these are Caucasian white people, and they're importing drugs into Australia. Millions of dollars worth of it. And so I went to the comments section, and did we see comments... I mean, the comments that, you know, if they were Middle Eastern, the comments would say things like they're savages, they're uncivilized, they don't respect the law and our culture, and they should be deported. They should not live in Australia. They should be deported. But let's see what the comments say instead. So... Georgia Brown says, good stuff, going to make lockdown cabin fever a bit stressful for all those meth heads. Look, Jesse Lou, haha, where did the other 250 million go? Uh, sometimes I just wondered if all the watercraft coming in from overseas are custom check. Look, nothing about deport being deported. Great job. They're thanking the police. Can I have just one mil? Good catch. Hate drug dealers. He says he killed his brother, okay. But again, nothing about, um, you know, that we should deport these people. Thanks, Australian police. Great job, great job. Looking forward to see meth heads running around with meth heads going fun times ahead. Will my order still be nailed? Look, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's keep going down. Game over for these fellas. 
and people tagging one another. Have a look. Zero. Nothing. Absolutely nothing about these people that they should be deported. Just one comment. One bloody comment. And you call yourself that you aren't racist. If they were Middle Easterners, if they were Arabs, you'd be saying they're barbaric. You'll say you'll make fun of cultural diversity. But when white people come here from New Zealand or white people come here from UK to Australia and do crimes, you don't say a single word to say deport them back to New Zealand or deport them back to the UK. Why is that? Oh, but then you'll say, oh, you're not racist against Middle Easterners. Oh, you're not really bigoted, bigoted against Muslims. You're not bigoted. You just have a problem with Islam, but no, you're not. You're not really. You, you know, you're not really inconsistent. You, you don't show double standards. You're fair. You're fair, Dinka Mayor. So where's the fairness? Why aren't you saying deport these white people? <laughs> and you want to call yourself fair, Dinkum Aussies, right? Fair, Dinkum Aussies. Bloody exposed. Shame on you.